Welcome to Mindless Pursuits Unreal Engine Marketplace review of the Cover NM Set Pro by Kubald. The date of this review is March 12, 2016. The supported engine builds for this product are 4.8 through 4.10, and the engine build used for the review is 4.10.4. In this pack, there are 62 animations, of which there are in place and root motion for each, and 43 anim offsets for each. Testing rig is here. Let's look at the animations in action, because that's what this is all about. So I've set up in the editor a couple instances of it, and I've also imported a Fuse character from the Fuse CC preview, so you can see what the animations look like transferred to there. Now, first off, let me say that it's very clean. All this stuff to the right of their folder uh, did not come from them. The geometry and all that was part of the third-person blueprint template that I used to set all this up. The Fuse characters, of course, has the character I brought in from Fuse. So there is this, this one, which is very well organized. Everything is organized all the way down the chain. So it's all very good. And what I've done as I set up a tall wall and a short wall and that way we can see what happens so if we start this this is just one of the many animations if we play it you can see how he turns and looks it was kind of quick if we want to slow that down we can let's take that to point three maybe we'll go to a third of the speed Oops. I clicked on the wrong skeleton. <laughs> Let's try that again. So now you can see the, the movement. It's nice and fluid. Very well done. You can see the motion captures the weight shifts on the body. I like that. We'll show you the other one here, which is someone who's behind short and he's going to come out of cover. Or can't remember if he's coming out of cover or if he's retreating behind cover, but we will click on him and set him back to his normal speed. So there's the speed of one. If we play, we have to actually slide over a little bit so he can see. So there you go, now you can see how he hides from firing. If we slow that one down. Point three again. We'll have to go over here, but you can see how he moves behind. If we go up above and look, you can see that we can get it in there nice and close if we want. Works very well. And I'm not going to try and show you all the animations because, simply put, there is a lot in there, and he has a very good video that shows all the different animations available to you. What I did want to show you is one more thing, which is we have our C, the, our few CC character in here, and I have applied one of the <clears throat> low profile cover animations to her for walking behind low profile. And if we start this, actually I'm going to make it even easier. I'm going to just drag her over and she's floating in the air because of the way the retargeting works. You have to make certain that you change her, for instance, over to or fuse characters over to their pelvis and root being animation scaled. And then they float up here in the air when they're when they're in the editor, but they actually drop down like they're supposed to, so we'll turn that on. You can see she gets down, and that's what she would look like walking behind cover. Let's look at the documentation, including the website. So here is the Set Pro page on the Unreal.com marketplace. You can see they've got the video link here uh, that you can click on if you want. There's a list of animations and a PDF. 
actually have that opened up here. There we go. So there are a lot of animations in there and a bunch of aim offsets. He links to his FAQ here so people understand what they're getting into. Now let's go ahead over to his site. So here's the purchase page for it on his site. And one thing here that I wish that he would have in the name for it on Unreal Engine is that it's actually a rifle NM set pro. It doesn't have a pistol cover animations and all that in it. It's all a rifle. And it's got a blend space on there. He notes that on here. So, all sorts of stuff. He actually, whoops, I the page twice. He actually has a page that shows for Unreal Engine 4 how to handle the animation. So there's a root motion animation. There's some FAQ stuff. He's very upfront about the fact that if you're a new developer, you know, and you've never done this before, don't don't rush into buying a pack of animations. Use the free stuff and get a feel for it first. But then he has lots of tutorials for different things. He's got tutorials on retargeting the fuse characters. Uh, all sorts of questions are answered here. I noticed that when I went out to look at his YouTube videos, that he had a specific video for retargeting his animations to mix them up, use characters and such. So there's a lot there. It's really well done. It's well documented uh, videos that show exactly how things work, videos that show what all the animations are. So from a documentation standpoint, I think it's pretty good. The other thing to put in here is that he actually includes all the FBX files. So if you actually go into the file system, you'll find source files and it has a zip file in it which I've unzipped to this directory. And in there, you've actually got all the exported FBXs for everything. So I felt that was pretty good. You've got everything in there if you want to play with it on your own. So that takes us to my ratings. And I have uh, a lot of love for this particular package after playing with it. The ease of use is 10 out of 10. Not only do the animations work great, they're already targeted to a version of the Unreal Skeleton that matches uh, the pose of any of the ones in the templates. And frankly, it's not their fault if Unreal keeps changing the skeleton all the time. But it works. So I give that a 10 out of 10 because they're really easy to get up and running. The animation quality, I give a 10 out of 10 because they're very fluid. You can tell the motion capture was done well. Again, you can see the the subtle shifting of weight and everything in the motion. Extras, having all the original FBX files exported so you can work with them, I give that a 10 out of 10. The documentation, not only does he have a clear website, he has an FAQ section for everybody. He's got very specific video tutorials that show how everything's done. He's got a video that shows all the individual animations and a list of the individual animations in a PDF. So, as well documented as you can get. And then some, because he actually speaks to how to retarget animations to other packages. The package organization, perfectly clean, well laid out. You can find your way to everything you need to. Uh, it's very concise in terms of space, so there, there's nothing added in there that shouldn't be in there. It's excellent. And demonstration maps, it's not applicable. So the final rating on this is the highest you can get. 10 out of 10, this is excellent. If you are looking to add cover animations to your game, you can't go wrong. This will serve you well, and you'll get a lot of use and excellent quality out of it. So if you like this review, please click the like button. If you aren't already a subscriber, please consider subscribing. We have other content besides just reviews. Of course, we have game development tutorials and more. If you want more information on Mindless Pursuits, please check out any of these links. And as always, I want to thank you for all of your interest and support. Take care.